everybody. It is May 7th. I'm Adam, and this is your Daily Dose of today. Over the last few weeks, I've had a few people share their frustration with me that they weren't able to get started, or they've had false starts, or they just don't feel like they're generally up to the task. And I want to be encouraging to you today. You're not alone. A lot of people, most people feel like that or experience that. I'll let you in on a little secret. Most everybody, and by that I mean literally most, only this, uh, all but the tiniest sliver of people that have been successful have had that road paved with failures. The key is, is how you set yourself up for success and failure. Now, remember the other day when I talked about nobody says, I'm going to go out west and then just packs everything up or sells everything to have and go because that'd be ridiculous. Well, we have a problem in today's culture, especially the Instagram culture, where we have these people that are rich or successful, however you want to frame it, and they claim that that's exactly what they did, and, and perhaps they did, but they went ahead and, you know, they just did everything, and because they wanted it so bad, they had it, and guess what? You can have that. You can have it too, the exact same way. And while you're doing it, they hope you buy all their products and things to help you tell them to do that and pay $10,000 to go sit in front of them to, for them to tell you that. Did that happen for them? Maybe. It does happen. That does happen. I'm not, I'm not lying to you. The problem is, is that all of that is under survivorship bias. Survivorship bias is basically that a point of view or a story is only being captured by those who came through it unscathed or who survived it. A great kind of ultimate description or uh, example of this is if we only ever listen to people who survived plane crashes and they said that, you know, anybody can survive a plane crash. Look, I did. But we didn't take into account all the 99% plus of other people that have died in a plane crash. It sounds crazy and ludicrous, doesn't it, to think that way, but you're doing the same thing by listening to these people. Again, it's not that it doesn't happen. People do walk away from plane crashes, but would you want to risk uh, your life on that? No. So what I've been trying to do in these last few days is actually I'm trying to get you to set yourself up not only for success but for failure because that's what those other people aren't helping you do. They're equivalently, they're telling you the equivalent of bet it all on black, everything you have, bet it all on black, sell the house, sell everything, sell your kids, uh, you know, uh, college tuition, all that stuff, bet it on black. And if you want it bad enough, that roulette wheel is going to roll black. And if it does, if it rolls red, guess what? You just didn't want it bad enough. Sounds crazy, don't it? Again. But who are you listening to on Instagram? <laughs> who, who are you listening to out there? And I'm sorry, these guys can hate on me if they, they want to. Um, they're not putting a coin in my pocket, and I'm not putting one in theirs, right? But what I've been trying to do the last few days is I've had you get your goals in mind. I've had you remember five year, three year, one year. I asked you to get specific, to get precise, no hyperbole, get rid of that, right? We got rid of that. I said, now start building up the steps necessary to get to that one year place and get precise. And if you were listening and putting that time, then my guess is that once you got about five or six precise steps in, you either said, I really don't know what I'm going to do after that. Or you started taking a guess and say, I'll figure it out. That's great. That's perfect. Because that's what I do too. Unless I've been someplace before, like now in my fitness and the health journey, I've done this before. I know the way very well. I can tell you what I'm going to do now. I can tell you what I'm going to be nine months from now. I can tell you, programmed it all out. But for those of us that are trying to go someplace that we've never been before, we don't have that luxury, right? So here's what we do. Like the first time I went on this fitness journey, we, we build small steps, concrete steps of what we're going to take to get to that first place. We want to be precise as possible. That means we can only get, we can only see five or six precise steps ahead. That's okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to be able to execute on those precise steps and we're going to be able to quickly determine whether or not that we had the, the result we got out of that. Was that a good result or was that a bad result? 
And if it was a bad result, what are we going to do? We're not going to take that step again. Or we're going to do something else. We're going to pivot. We're going to turn. But we're going to take a series of small steps. And by that, we're going to find the way to get to our goal. Instead of betting it all, all on black and letting it ride, we're going we're gonna to put six pennies you know, on that investment. We're going to make, you know, invest six seconds of our time on this thing or, you know, a day of our time on this thing, but as opposed to like, uh, you know, six months. And by doing that, remember what I talked about before about these continuous feedback cycles, quick feedback loops? We're allowing that to come into our life so we can quickly evaluate whether or not what we're doing is the right thing and change it if not without costing ourselves a lot of time, money, or personal humiliation. The other piece of that is... You know what? You get five or six steps out and you might decide that's not where I want to go. I want to go there. It happens all the time. You might decide, you know what? I don't I thought I wanted this, but now I'm a little bit in it. I don't want that. I would rather do this instead. And you save yourself a lot of time because you are able to get to failure quickly. Failing fast is an important part of being successful. The key is not to fail, or excuse me, the key is not to not fail. The key is to fail quickly, safely, so that we can determine what the next step is, what success looks like, and go pursue that next. There's a method to the madness, and, a, and you're not buying a thing from me, so I just want to see your success. This has been your Daily Dose of today. Mm-hmm.